to the hoop journeys, man. Big baller brand. Here we go. Big come. baller, eh? holding on to the ball a little bit too much, but he's used to controlling the game. And so we're trying to get him to that, but to have a floor general with all these young guys, you gotta have somebody. Coach, seven foot wingspan, seven foot wingspan, seven foot wingspan. Length is gonna be something we're gonna be talking about all year long. My son one of those? No, he's not. Okay, he has my four foot seven wingspan <laughs> but how what kind of versatility does that give you i mean we've heard the positionless players thing how is that going to work for you guys offensively well we played zone today i got coach barbie who's a great zone teacher and, and my staff we got to play zone with you know we got to play so i called the team and i said we play zone but that'll slow down the game and instead of 70 shots a game we'll give 58 now who's giving up those 12 shots and they're like let's play guys to feel a part of it Yet the last eight years have been kind of unique and special, even for us. So, but I want them to feel a part of it, and I want them to be that that Brad shoot one. Somebody blocked it. Guys, good to see Coach Cal with a big smile on his face. You usually won't see that when he's storming the sidelines at Rupp Arena. He's in full-on game mode, but tonight it's all about enjoying it. It's all about the fans, and it's all about the fans getting to see these players in action in person for the first time. Here's Kevin Knox, number five. He can shoot that shot as a 6'9 wing. One of the question I asked these officials is which one was going to tee up Drake? Was any <laughs> of them going to tee Drake up as the coach? And what we're seeing here a lot of, guys, are the lobs that we... It is a strategy. That's not roll the ball out and let them play. That is an actual strategy because they have such a length advantage against most of their competition. And again, I mean, look, we've been at practice, and when Coach Cal's saying, hey, we're not even close yet to being the team that we're going to be, and we, we're struggling and we're deficient in some areas and things aren't pretty right now, he's not lying. I mean, it's, it's the truth. Now, the talent is there. You see the flashes of it. But with the schedule that they have upcoming, you're talking about a team that's going to have to come together. And I will tell you, every single year, I mean, I remember a couple years back, Carl Anthony Towns, when he first came in, and I was here for Big Blue Madness, I looked at him and was Defensively, he's not quite getting it yet. He that's what he's going to be able to do for this team. He is a pass-first point guard looking for options up the floor. I'm excited about the pace they're going to be able to play with. I think that's going to be really exciting, really hard to defend. And Shea Gilgis Alexander knocks down a three. Any one of these was interesting from a layman's perspective was he was coaching these kids up on how to stay wide when they're running a fast break. That's something that you hear rec league ball coaches coaching because it really is about the fundamentals at this point for this team. Yeah. The fundamentals are there. Oh, I would check it off right now as, as I agree with you. And I think Quad A Green will lead the team in assists and I'm not sure about defensively who might lead the team in steals I think there's a lot of guys that you play up the line and you can get some tips and deflections you can get out on the break they've got multiple players that will allow them to play that elite level defense that will will be really important when the pace slows down I'm going to play devil's advocate for you not quite devil's advocate because I've got to witness this team the last 48 hours and see how talented they are but the last few years especially they've always had a dude They've had a guy like Jamal Murray, who you know would knock down a key shot. They're going to count it, of course. 
They had a guy last year like De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. Who's the dude this year for Kentucky? I think it's yet to be defined definitively. I think it could be Kevin Knox. It could be P.J. Washington. That would be the two guys that I would look at more than anyone uh, because I think when P.J. Washington gets his hands on the ball and he's got someone on his hip, it's over. I mean, he, he's got great ability to create the angle and score. Believe it or not, this evening's over, Deb. Final comments. you got to be kidding. I have had so much fun. This has been incredible. And like I said earlier, this was about the fans and about the players, the men and the women. And I thought Matthew Mitchell broke it down very nicely with his dance moves. Final takeaway, Farnham. My final thoughts is I want to listen to Coach Cal. <laughs> I want to make sure they're trying to dunk and run and crazy. Just, just know this, folks. We're going to have... We got to get better. We got to get in better shape. We got to shoot the ball better. Got to defend better. Got to rebound better. But there you go. We got a special group of young people here, so we're gonna have some fun this year. And how about a hand for Drake? How about him making his South available? And thanks, you guys. Be safe going home. Be safe, guys. And with that, Big Blue Madness 2017-18 is a wrap. It's been a blast from start to